Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We're playing the Legacy Pack and I'd like to welcome you to the police station, one of my favorite places to be. Um, it's not a 100% accurate rep representation, but I really remember how many of the Advent fights happened here in XCOM 1. Um, such a such an interesting um, map. I absolutely loved it. Specifically, there's a little high ground in here. Uh, they modeled it differently than in the original map, but anyways, there's a little high ground in here, which made for some absolute phenomenal indoor firefights. Um, most of the times, and I think that that's going to hold true as well, there were almost no aliens here, but the brung, uh, the the majority of the aliens were inside. So. I was shit talking about uh, kill zone. This time I want to try something. If we're actually pulling, maybe we can make kill zone work. It's dangerous because we're standing in the open, but I want to give it a try. Central moves in. Okay. That was to be expected, and let's see if kill zone actually works. Nope. That was a big fat failure. Well, that was a massive failure so far. Yeah. Short reminder to myself. I do not think about uh, using kill zone again. It just fucking sucks. All right, moving in. Some of this is non-destructible cover, so we got to deal with the fact that the stun monster still is going to be in full cover. Nice little damage though. What's over there? And by thinking about it, if we land the other grenade, like over here, we can kill one of the stun launch and the other one will be exposed. I think that's actually worth it. One of the aspects that I have learned in this game mode so far is you gotta move aggressive and fast in order to secure a lot of points. And that's exactly what we're going to do. only 48% chance. Let's soul fire him instead. The first round yields you the highest amount of bonus. So we're only looking at one enemy who's left. This is dangerous, I don't want to get any closer than necessary. Might as well take the full cover here. Too old for this. 21%. It's probably not going to make it. Let's overwatch instead. Alright. I think he's too far away, he can't make it in one turn. Did we just trigger the next pack? Oh, there is one more pack in here. Beautiful. Oh! Kill zone is still up! Well, it still sucks, just as much as, um, as I remember it when I left it. Oh, 
All right, so there's one group here, one group here. We definitely don't want to enter into this into this area. That's the hornet nest. Okay, so the shield bearer is a bit of an issue there. Let's see. When we got there, the police station was overrun with advent troops. And they weren't taking any prisoners. Seeing what they had done to the station, knowing there had been people in there. If we were angry before, now we were motivated. Okay. I am still motivated. I was motivated before, but I am still motivated. Right, we're looking at 4 to 7. The car explodes, that doesn't mean jack shit for him. Um, we could remove this, all of this. We could also remove all of this here, but I fear Ripping up this wall will lead to a beautiful line of sight, which pulls the rest. Matter of fact, we will get line of sight as soon as we're entering this area, so we can't flank this guy, which means we need to take away his cover. Volatile mix. Reddit. Beautiful. If you say so. Okay. Moving into full cover. Just out of curiosity, do we have a superior scope and a superior outloader? Good. Go. So we have three reloads. That's good. This here should kill him with a pistol. Nice one, good job. Enemy eliminated. We can stasis one of them, but we need to kill a couple of them. Do we have threat assessment yet? Medical protocol... No, we don't have threat assessment, so no extra turns. But we might give Central the aid protocol, because he's the front line. to deal with that big beast. But it's still too far away, so actually it's not a threat, at least not this turn. The Shredder Gun, 6 to 9, would just be enough to deal with both of them. Can use a grenade afterwards to get rid of them. So we're down to that one enemy. We're doing, we're having an advanced, uh, we're even having a superior stock. So this is going to kill him regardless. Even if we not hit, the stock kills him. That's good. Redford moves over here. Come on, Redford. Well, our weapons are definitely efficient. The 
The police station is packed with enemies. One might even say it's swarming. Blade storm. Nice. Nice. Good job, Redford. He's the man. By the way, it couldn't have taken this turn. It's just a bonus kill. A nice Police bonus kill. No position to fight a war. Much less an alien invasion. Don't get me wrong. A lot of them tried, but most of them didn't live long enough to do any real damage. The situation here was a little different, though. There were a lot of dead aliens piled up. More than usual, anyway. Fifty percent. Let's mark this guy. Yep, even if we don't hit him, he's still marked. Reloading, killing this guy. Moving out. We know there is a pack back here. I wasn't expecting to pull it right away, to be honest. Let me correct myself, I wasn't expecting to pull two packs right away. Gosh, they are cramped in there. Moving into full cover. Yeah, that's a beautiful rocket. One down. We only got our um, our psyker left. Well, That's a dangerous place. If someone moves up here, let me calculate. No, actually standing behind here means uh, that he is not, uh, he's not flanking. Okay, Hundred percent chance of insanity. We can even control him. Might as well just own? take it. Well, killing it wasn't the worst outcome. No rockets. No rockets. Expression is okay.
Don't you dare mind controlling him. Redford. No. Oh, that's a bad That is a difficult situation, but I do already have an idea how we can solve it. Which side was responsible wasn't clear, but someone had torn this place up, and it looked like everyone involved paid the price. We could either stasis Redford, but I don't want to do that. I actually wanted to stasis the guy that is shooting at Redford. Back there. Question is, how can we reach this guy? So we do have blue screen rounds. Let's get rid of that mech first and for, uh, foremost. There we go. Still working on a rescue for Bradford. That's going to hit someone back there. Question of the day is did we hit the sector? I think it's coming from this position. We have no line of sight, that's a problem. Can't grapple, that's why I would grapple a little bit closer. We can kill these two guys and probably stasis him. That's not too bad. How can we throw a grenade almost to this position? Target eliminated. Shields up. 
Central is going for the stasis. Couldn't get him out of the mind control. to burn him. Oh my gosh. That was pathetic. We're taking another stasis. Well, now this has just even... Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't you trigger them. Don't you trigger them. Don't you... Oh. I was about to say that it has just developed into such a massive battlefield. The reality of it was, these people had a choice. They could have kept running. They didn't have to stop here. Didn't have to make a stand. But for whatever reason, I guess they had finally had enough. They knew what was coming, and they stood and faced it down. Right up until the end. Alright, Bradford is in the mix. Let's go, baby. I think, unless we find a way to deal with uh, all of them this turn, we'll need to somewhat distract them. Let's go with a nice little chain shot and let's hope we are hitting it. Nice. Such a great shredder. Come on. Beautiful. This guy is going down. Close three rounds. Almost got it down. but almost is not enough. So that would kill this guy. Can we kill the Advent Priest? No. Well, we can kill that guy for sure. It's our chance to hit the sector pod, 79. Okay, what can Bradford realistically do? Do they have a chance to climb up here? All of this is destroyed. He could position himself back here, try to make a stand. It's not the worst decision. I suppose. We can move over here and get the guy in cover. It's probably the better choice, to be honest. So you could get uh, this gentleman. Which means we're kind of left with the sector port, right? Right. Okay. Kill the purifier or no, no, we're killing the purifier. Okay, 
Time for some backstabbing. One over here. And we got the nice little flank. That was awesome. Hair trigger free action. Let's activate run and gun. Moving over here, again into full cover. And let's get the priest. We got two mechs left over. And we definitely tri uh, triggered the entire. And by entire I mean like all of them, the entire uh, map. The two wounded soldiers, because I put them too close together. Strategic mistake. Just lost 2,000. I was about to flawless that mission. We almost uh, got heavily injured. If a bunch of civilians were willing to stand up to Advent knowing they didn't have a chance in hell, what would history have said about us if we had turned and run away? None of us had any intention of leaving that place before the aliens paid for what they had done. Moving into cover. Okay. Open for business, I like it. Well, that's not the worst idea. AP rounds go directly through. Trying to not be flanked. Next turn. Alright, that's one more down. Healing up. Unfortunately, failed just about to hit it. I'll get him next time. <laughs> that was clever, bro. Just run away. That's another injured soldier. I, I don't like the rockets. There's not so much I can do even with positioning. We didn't know it at the time. But I suppose this whole situation is even sadder when you consider most of these aliens are just pawns in the Elder's game. Not that I feel bad for them. But do you think the Elders care how many of these things we killed? No, I don't think that they care. Alright, our sniper needs to move. 
Is that why the car is going to explode? There is the next faceless one. No chance of seeing it. So we're moving into the open. I'm trusting you here. In order to at least have an overwatch shot. On overwatch. A protocol for central. And we can prevent him from being hit as well. We have unfortunately had three injured soldiers. That's minus 3,000 points. to get some extra points by rescuing civilians. I think that the chosen, uh, the faceless one only appeared because all of the enemies are effectively down by now. Rescue the civilians for fuck's sake. We cleared the police station and moved on as quickly as we could. There was nothing left of this town to save anymore. Hmm. Uh, we missed out on 5,000 civilians, uh, so 5,000 from the civilians, 3,000 from being wounded. Overall, okay, but we could have had realistically had. Like six to seven thousand more. To loot the place, but we grabbed whatever we could on our way out. Okay, I would go for superior combat sims because there is just superior uh, perception is really good. That's not bad either. The wrath suits are pretty good too. Uh, maybe we're going to go with an upgrade on the uh, on the armor. Just got untouchable. That is a huge upgrade. I love it. Ever vigilant is also okay. Steady hands is yeah so and so. Uh, Salvo is super. That's very action economy friendly. Stays a shield for friends. That's good. Inspire is also good because we can shift um, we can shift movement or uh, action units from one um, operative to another. So we're getting some really nice skills now. And we have passed silver. Need another 60,000 and we have two missions. If the missions are approximately yielding as much, we are on a good way to get gold. Things started to open up as we got away from town. We made a beeline straight for the farm in the hopes of getting a few hours rest. We knew at this point the aliens were going to come looking for us eventually. We had left a path of destruction that only pointed one direction. I just hoped we'd catch a breather before the next round of reinforcements showed up. Yes. We I love it. We into a nice homestead. Big red barn and all that. Kind of reminded me of the old family farm back in Kansas. But that's another story. And unfortunately, this one leads us right back into another big fight. In retrospect, we probably should have avoided any landmarks, but we were all worn out and not exactly thinking straight. Alright, so that's where we're going to stop for today. Great little mission. It's going uh, mission after mission after mission. So intense. Uh, 47,000 uh, points are on the line on this mission, so there's a lot to grab. But that's going to happen in the next uh, series uh, in the next episode if you like what you've seen give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below i um, invite you for the last two sessions that are going to follow soon thank you for watching and bye bye